this are in the garage, we're going to fit a universal Bluetooth tyre pressure monitoring system to the bike. Um, they're really good, they're really accurate, and they're really cheap. 15 to 20 pounds, um, and you can get them. So what you get in the kit? Well, you get two sensors, a spanner, and some little locking nuts. Um, and it's really a simple case of taking the dust caps off, screwing these on. And connecting it to the phone so we'll do that now right so it's simply a case of taking the dust valve cap off and putting a little ring on then taking whatever sensor you want to put on this is fl at fr so we'll put that on the rear Hear that little bit of escape of the gas there, have they? Yeah, nice and tight. And then it's a case of just spinning the locking nut on. And with the little span provided, just locking it in place. That stops the little tea leaves. Taking it off. As simple as that. Right, let's uh, connect to the phone. So that we're going to use is SYTPMS. And there we go. So we're going to do the front tire first. And all you've got is little words in pair. Oh, that was quick. Pair successfully. And if we look on it now, we're showing 31.4 PSI. It's 7 degrees outside. It feels a bit colder. Actually, it's the middle of winter. Now, the voltage in that battery in there it's actually only showing 2.8 volts so it's getting a bit low but it will warn you when the battery gets low the phone will also warn you if the tire pressure gets too low or too high and you adjust all those in your settings you can have a warning if you want you can set your maximum temperature your maximum tire pressure minimum tire pressure low battery warning and the units should have degrees centigrade or fahrenheit PSR or bar. So that's the front tyre done. We're going to do exactly the same for the rear. So in the back of the bike, just cap off. Fit the locking ring. Got the tyre pressure monitor. Screw that on nice and tight. And then just tighten up that locking ring. So it doesn't go missing. Now phone again. And now this time we need to pair the rear. Press pair. ID pair successfully and then we have our details. So we're showing 38.7 at the back. That's it, as simple as that. No more bending down, messing about getting your hands dirty with tire pressure gauges. Turn your phone on, set your alarms, and it tells you when the pressure's low. You can't get much better than that. It's a five minute job, it's so easy, anyone can do it. It costs next to nothing, a couple of pints of beer, and it's the same price as getting the system. And it's such a good safety tool that really it's a no-brainer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to see more of Similar things when getting the bike ready for touring in the summer and obviously the other bits and bobs that go along with this new channel. I'll catch you on the next video. Safe biking.